who have faithfully, whoops,
that we're planning to achieve in the Cranberry Lake Woodlands and the open spaces to reduce the need for watering. But it didn't work as, out as well as we hoped, and so um, more traditional plantings will be done this year. Each year we have herbicided our open spaces to reduce the number of unwanted vegetation and to prepare the open spaces for more desirable plants. Last fall, we seeded and matted the open area along 120 by Deer Point and Misty Hill. This winter, the brush was cleared from the pond around the public works, that behind the public works building. Our committee organized several village cleanups, and in conjunction with the electronic recycling day, we will have another cleanup on Saturday, June 22nd. So you can drop off your um, Electro or unwanted electronics and then help us clean up the village. Um, our plans for this year, assuming that it never stops raining, uh, include um, various things besides maintaining the cleared areas from debris. We will install one additional fountain this year. The board has recently voted Haynesville to become a tree city. That entails caring for our existing village trees, planting additional trees, ensuring that we maintain a variety of trees, and celebrating our Day annually. We've applied for a grant from ComEd to improve our green regions. If we receive the grant, we'll be planting a variety of trees in the area of Deer Point along 120, where the Phragmites used to be. Those are invasive plants that we got rid of, um, and in the open space along Haynesville Road between the Village Hall and Tall Oak Drive. We'll be installing live plants for a butterfly garden along 120 at Misty Hill and around the pond at Misty Hill. Eventually, we hope to create a path around the butterfly garden and place a sign to identify the flowers and butterflies that visit. Um, each year, we ask for suggestions, and we welcome your input and encourage you to join our WOW committee. We meet every other month, the first Thursday, at 7 o'clock here in the village. Our next meeting is May 2nd. We applied for the Governor's Hometown Award for volunteerism, and we were asked to present our program in Springfield. Jim Denomi created this PowerPoint um, and we're going to show the edited version of it tonight. So you can see, because it's so easy to forget how much we've accomplished, you can see the before and after of what the Cranberry Woodlands look like. So uh, now we can, if you want to turn the lights on. Okay. As I mentioned, Cranberry Lake is a very high quality lake. And, um, and we have some endangered species that are in the area, and, um, and so we're very protective of the lake itself and the surrounding areas. Here are some of the committee members that I mentioned. Um, here are some of the flowers that have um, germinated from our many pounds of, of native seed. Black Eyed Susans, Echinacea, Canada Wild Rye. We have flowers and grasses. Culver's root, rosin weed, and elderberry. And um, some more of the rosin weed. I don't know why they come up with such ugly names for such pretty flowers. <laughs> These are um, other cone flowers, gray headed cone flowers. Jerusalem artichoke. Doesn't look like an artichoke to me. <laughs> a white snake root seed. It sounds ugly, but to use it pretty. Gray headed cone flowers and purple loosestrife. The purple loosestrife is not a good thing, but it sure is pretty. Here you can see this is uh, from the backyard of Jim's house. I mean, you couldn't even see anything. It's just been, he's 5'11, and you could just see that. As far as you, you can't see through all that, that uh, stuff. Now it's much different. 
Here's a before and after, looking south toward the homes. There's Jim and his dog Shadow. And you can see how it looked before, and now you can see the path. See, now you can see the lake. Those times before that, you didn't even know it was there. I think that you can, it's amazing to see the difference. And so many more people are walking the path than ever before because our house backs up to it and we enjoy seeing the neighbors enjoying the path. Yeah, where is the poor dog? <laughs> I but look at it today, look how beautiful it is. We have mostly um, oak trees and some hickories. So we don't have ash trees because those are, have been planted. And so we're lucky not to have to worry about them. Those are before and after, the same area. And See, this is along Hainesville Road. People didn't even know it was there before it was so overgrown. You can be proud of this beautiful addition to our community. Come in and walk the path if you haven't because it's really pretty and you'll enjoy the nice walk. It happens to be my family. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't know they were going to become famous. <laughs> did did you make them pick up trash? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, and now let's mingle.